We are Ministers of Reconciliation. That's right, brothers and sisters. That is the title of today's article for the 20th of November from the Rhapsody of Realities. Welcome once again to this wonderful segment. Our opening verse from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 18 writes, And all things are of God, who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ, and hath given to us the ministry of reconciliation. Hallelujah. In the New Testament, you would observe that the word minister is copiously used. It is, however, important to note that there are three Greek words from which it is translated. The first one is doulos, which is like a servant or a slave. Paul sometimes called himself a doulos, a born servant, a slave or servant of Jesus Christ. And you can see an example in Romans chapter 1 verse 1. Then another Greek word for minister is huperates, which refers to the office of ministry, like we find in the story of the conversion of the Apostle Paul on his way to Damascus. During that conversion, Jesus said to Paul, For I have appeared unto thee for this purpose, to make thee a minister and a witness both of these things which thou hast seen. This can be read in Acts chapter 26 verse 16. Jesus appeared to Paul and called him into an office of ministry. We also find the same word in 1 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 1. Let a man so account of us as of the ministers, hypocrites of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. However, the third meaning of the word minister is the one every Christian has been called into, diakonia in the Greek, which refers to a person who serves, like someone who is a waiter. In Acts chapter 6 verse 4, it was used to describe the ministry of the word. But we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. We all have the responsibility to be servants of Christ, servants of his word and of one another. You have a responsibility to be a witness for Christ and to deliver the gospel to other people. Praise the Lord. God has made you a competent minister of reconciliation. And this is seen in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 6 in the New International Version. So, go wild for the Lord. Open your mouth and declare His word of salvation boldly anywhere you find yourself. He's counting on you. Glory! Imagine we have been vested with all authority to carry out the divine purpose of the Father and we can only win. Hallelujah! I would now like to lead us in this prayer together as we say this after me. Thank you, Father, for counting me faithful and worthy to be a minister of reconciliation. I'm passionate about the gospel and I preach it with boldness to everyone in my world, catapulting sinners from the domain of darkness into your kingdom of light. In Jesus' name, Amen. As always, our man of God encourages each one of us to study these verses further for more insight and understanding on today's teaching from 2 Timothy chapter 4 verses 1 to 2, 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 16, and 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 6 in the Amplified Classic Translation. Blessed be God. Remember to put these things you have learned to work and don't just be a hero only. The Word of God produces results in your life as you act on them. As you know, this platform was created just for you to share and receive God's Word. So take this opportunity to subscribe to our channel and let others know how they can grow spiritually by sharing these podcasts. You can also download a digital copy of this daily devotional in over 7,000 languages and have them distributed with those in your sphere of contact. Your family, friends and whom you see on a daily basis are those you can begin with and by doing that, you're reaching others with the message of the Lord Jesus Christ. Comment down below and let us know how these messages by Pastor Chris have changed your life and join us again tomorrow. Hallelujah! We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe 
He is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I'm born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I'm now a child of God. Hallelujah. Congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tnimsia at gmail.com. That's tnimsia at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.